the Quest has allowed me to deliver cardioplegia to the myocardium in a manner to avoid the myocardial cells to have the exposure of significant swelling and edema. No matter uh, what type of patient you're confronted with and what type of, you can see, uh, uh, different features you have with the patient, you're able to customize the delivery of the particular microplegia. Amazing thing about, the, again, the Quest system is if individuals are very attached to a specific solution, they can still use the Quest system in delivering the solution in addition to the blood that's being delivered to the patient. Delivery of different myocardial protective agents, whether it's custodial or another name for it, Brett Schneiden, or even the Del Nido, uh, or even the Buckberg type of uh, solution, these are all whatever the preference of the specific surgeon and the team is. So I think that uh, whatever the team has been comfortable with and have had good results with, I think that it's great for them to continue with that particular solution. If they would like to basically have the Quest system added to their overall devices, with the Quest, they can continue to deliver the same system the same way. No matter what's the length of your procedure, whether it's a quick procedure or a lengthy procedure, and no matter how much amount of uh, cardioplegia is delivered, the myocardium is never swollen. With regular methods, the myocardium is at risk of getting significant edema. And uh, with microplegia, that's again avoided, and patients uh, can easily resume a normal sinus rhythm after the cross clamp is removed. The future of cardiovascular surgery is using the technological advances and in integrating the data that's available to the patient to the best optimal way so that you can deliver that particular drug to the uh, patient specifically for protecting the heart is what the future, I think, of myocardial protection is all about. Mm -hmm.